I found this lovely stock illustration. I just need to move that bird higher to make it look like it's flying. It's time to make a selection. It's time to make a selection. Well, it seems it wasn't grouped. Uh, let's just take a look at the layers panel. We are screwed. Let's just all calm down. The illustrator file is a mess, but there has to be a way of making a selection, right? Selection. Maybe the lasso tool? No. Um, magic wand? Hello darkness, my old friend. You are screwed. What if I told you it's possible to select anything you want easily in complex and messy illustrator files like this one? I found this amazing plugin nobody talks about called Cool Selection, which adds two new selection tools to Illustrator. Let me show you how they work. My aim is to quickly tidy up this document and have everything nicely organized into groups. Starting with the little bird, I'm going to use the blue arrow tool, which is called Selection Box Tool. This comes with the cool selection plugin. And then with this one, if you just click and drag, it will immediately start moving objects around. What you need to do is to hold down the Alt or Option key almost all the time whenever you use this tool, which will allow you to make a selection without accidentally moving things around. And all you have to do whenever you use this tool is to make sure that the details that you wish to select are completely included in your selection. And when you let go, you can see already it did an amazing job compared to any of the default selection tools in Illustrator. Now, the only thing that I didn't mean to select are those green circles, the bubbles coming out of the cauldron, for which I can use another tool. This is the selection brush tool. And all I have to do is to hold down the shift key and click on the details that I wish to remove from the selection. I am going to do the same thing here with this other bubble. And notice that I actually used a very large brush. Again, only details that are fully enclosed in your selection will be added or subtracted from your current selection. Let's just turn this into a group and let's just test it out. If I move it around, yep perfectly selected. So I'm just going to place that back here and I'm actually also going to lock this just so it doesn't get in the way with command or control 2. Now it's time to move on to the next object. Let's just select this book right here. For this I'm going to use the brush tool again. So let's use the same brush size but by the way if I wanted to change the brush size I can use the square bracket keys on the keyboard. So let's just start drawing over it. I like to draw first around the edges and then fill in the inside area and in this case I also want to select this little bookmark here and I mean look at that we created the perfect selection straight away I'm in carefully purposefully selected it's just unbelievable how much time this saves once again this wasn't grouped all of these parts and compound parts here were selected perfectly even though we have a lot of details behind it. I mean look at the outline view if I just show you moving the book away that was all of these details with lots of anchor points in the background but we managed to select exactly what we needed. So I'm going to group everything together with command or control G and then I'm going to also lock it with command or control 2. So now we have the book and the bird. Let's move on to the pumpkins and the candle in the background. I'm going to stick to using the brush tool, but this time I'm going to actually work in outline view. That's command or control Y on the keyboard. So I'm going to draw over these details nicely following around the edge. Just making sure that completely have the object inside my selection. And then I just draw over the inside parts. And I believe that's completely selected. And again, look at that beautiful selection. It's a beautiful selection. <laughs> Let's group it together and then lock it. Time to move on. And we have these little candies here. These will be extremely easy to select. By the way, if I wanted to add to my selection, I just have to hold down the shift key. I could even draw over these all in one go if I wanted them in the same group. And once again, the background details, the skull, the cauldron and all the other stuff is not currently logged. So just to show you, if I use, for instance, the lasso tool and I do exactly the same thing, go around these details here, 
I told you, they are all still selectable. It's just thanks to this amazing plugin that I can make these selections seem so easy to do. So let's just group these all together and lock them. Next one is the skull, for which I will switch to outline view again, command or control Y. And this time I'm going to use the box selection tool or cool tool, as I like to call it. One additional advantage of working in outline view is that you don't even have to hold down the alt or option key as long as you don't accidentally click on an actual path. So in this case, I'm going to click here, drag and making sure that the entirety of the skull is included in that rectangle. Once I let go, again, you can see we have a perfect selection. So let's just move this around so we can test it. Yeah, looks great. Let's put it back, group it and lock it. Before we continue, just wanted to let you know that the creator of the plugin is offering a 25% discount for a limited time. Use the link and the code in the description below to access it. We don't get commissions for these sales. We just wanted to make the plugin more accessible for all of you. Alternatively, if you wish to get it for free, just leave a comment below about what you find most frustrating in Illustrator. We will pick 10 lucky commenters and give them free access to the cool selection plugin. Let's move on to the books and the potion. For this one, I'm going to switch back to the brush tool and again work in outline view. So I'm going to make the selection starting around the edges like that and then go inside to fill in the selection. And I think we have a perfect selection apart from that small little detail here, which is the handle of the cauldron. Just going to show you if I move it away, there's those details. So to fix this, I'm going to use the selection box tool and hold down the shift key, remove that object and the other one. And there was a little bit small detail here as well. So now when we move this around, it's again a perfect selection. Let's put it back, group it and lock it. And finally, let's just zoom out and use the selection box tool just one more time. Hold down Alt or Option key and drag over all the details that we wish to include in the selection. And there you go. We have a beautiful selection of the cauldron. Just as a final comparison, if I were to use the default tool here, I would first have to make sure that I don't accidentally move that shape around in the background. So I start my selection further out like this. And if I were to make that selection, as you can see, it still picks up the details in the background, like the shadow and that purple cloud. Because the way Illustrator works is that it includes everything that the selection tool touches. And the whole idea of the cool selection plugin is that it works exactly the opposite way. So you have to make sure that something you wish to select is entirely included in the selection. And in case you use AutoCAD, CorelDRAW or InkSpace, you are probably already used to this behavior whenever you are making selections. So now if you just take a look at the layers panel, we can see that all of these details are beautifully grouped together. So it would be so much easier to work with them and move them around. And honestly, tidying up a file of this complexity without using the cool selection plugin would have taken me ages. Believe me when I say that this tool is a lifesaver. And that's not even all because you can use the selection brush tool to not only select things, but also immediately color them. So for instance, here, if I wanted all of those little stars and circles that are currently white to be the same yellow color that we see on a few of these stars, all I have to do is to make sure that the color that I wish to use is set as my fill color. And then using the selection brush tool, I just have to hold down the alt or option key. So if I paint over details, you can see once again, only objects that are fully enclosed inside my selection will be colored. And in this case, they are just colored, not selected. And I can do the same thing here. Once again, look at this. I can draw over all of these and I didn't mess up any other details. I can do the same thing up here. I can do the same thing here. Just quickly draw over them. And that's one brush stroke and another, and we are done without messing up any of the other details. And just like before, if you look at the layers panel, there were no groups here and everything was unlocked. So it's just crazy how this tool can pick up always those details that we wish to work with. It almost feels like an AI, meaning artificial intelligence selection tool, but actually it doesn't rely on AI. It's just a very smart plugin. Thanks a lot for watching. Hit that like button and subscribe if you wish to see more videos like this. See you guys in the next one.